Hey guys, in this video, I am going to show you how you can calculate critical values for Z and T types using Excel and R Studio. Here I have placed three types of hypothesis less than, greater than, and not equal to sign. For left tail hypothesis, you, it means your critical region would lie on the left side of the distribution and your critical value would be negative. For right tail uh, critical region or for, for right tail alternative hypothesis, your critical region would lie on the right side of the distribution and your critical value would be positive. For not equal to sign, it means that your critical region is going to split up into two parts, right and left. And it's going to have two critical values, one will be positive and the other will be negative. So coming to the uh, calculation part, if we have to calculate critical value for Z test uh, alpha level. So for left tail side, what you have to do, just place equals to sign and norm s dot inverse. We have to use inverse uh, area table because when we are given the probability and we have to find the z score of that pro at that probability, we have to use inverse area table. So our Excel is doing the same. We have to use inverse function for this. Uh, the argument is only probability so we have to select probability that is 5% level of significance and click it's giving minus 1.645 i can show you for the chain level of significance minus 2.326 for the 99% level uh, confidence level or 1% level of significance for the upper value you have to do uh, norm s dot inverse and subtract 1 uh, your area from the 1. It will give us a 2.326 as a positive value. If we want to calculate uh, this value uh, in another way, so use absolute function and select this value. You will get the positive value that will be used for the upper tail t-test. For the two tail z-test, what you have to do just write norm.s.inverse dot dot and divide your level of significance by Two. you will be given as minus 1.96 it's the critical value if you want to calculate this value in power positive then you have to use norm s dot inverse probability divided by 2 this will give us a positive critical value. you can also take the absolute value for this function also okay coming to the critical v t value if you have calculated critical values for t test and for left it less click t dot inverse Again, we have to use the inverse area table for the t-test and by clicking on the t.inverse, it's giving two arguments, probability and degrees of freedom. For probability, I am selecting 5% and for degrees of freedom, I am selecting 5. Um, as you know, the degrees of freedom for a one sample t-test is calculated as n minus 1. N number of sample values minus 1. Click enter. And you can see that it says negative value minus 2.015. Now I want to calculate this for the upper tail test. T dot inverse subtract our probability from, my, uh, from 1 and use second argument of degrees of freedom. To calculate in another way, I am showing the absolute value of the T dot inverse function for probability select and select degrees of freedom. Now click. You are again having a this value same as the positive value. To calculate the t value for the two tail hypothesis, just use t dot inverse and two tail. Calculate uh, use probability and degrees of freedom. Okay, you are getting 2.571 as a critical value for the t test. Now I am I am taking to you my R Studio and coming to the R Studio, I have to show you how you can calculate t value for the left tail test you have to place qt uh, qt and our study is giving us the uh, arguments p df and cp what are these arguments you must have to find its help question mark qt will give you a quantile here you can see it's the help of this function qt and there is all not only QT but also other function PT, DT and RT. For QT, uh, let's see what are the arguments of the function. P for probability, degrees, degrees of freedom, NCP for uh, non-centrality parameter, lower dot tail is equals to true will give us a lower uh, left tail T values. So 
Coming to the QT, I have to show you P is equal to 0.05. My degrees of freedom is 5 and I am taking lower dot tail is equals to 2. You can only place T in place of uh, all the spellings. Now plus 2 minus 2.015 the same as I have obtained from the Excel. Now to calculate the right tail t value just place f in place of t so sorry so it's to two point positive 2.01504 so to calculate this for the two tail hypothesis i just have to divide my alpha by two just as we are doing in uh, excel so this is giving a negative value if we place here f so we will get a positive t value for the two tail hypothesis. For the left tail z test what you have to do you have to use q norm function. What are the arguments of the q norm function p mean and standard deviation are by default uh, 0 and 1 for the standard normal distribution. Lower dot tail is equal to 2 will give us a uh, left tail uh, z test value. Here p is equal to 0.5. 0 0.05 lower dot tail is equals to t. Here you can see that minus 1.645. Again I have to show you how you can calculate for the right tail test. Lower day dot tail is equals to f. The procedure is same for the T and for the Z test and for calculating for the two tail hypothesis we just have to divide our level of significance by two. You can if you, you want to get only two digits after of your critical value then you have to just place round function round your value and up to two. So I am running this command and you are getting 1.96. Thank you so much for watching my videos.